Hello and welcome back to the newsroom. I'm Victoria Akonde and these are the headlines we're tracking at the moment. The Jigawa State Police Commander on Thursday said it has arrested not less than 277 suspected looters. While giving an update on the ongoing hunger protest, the command spokesman DSP Lawan Shishu Adam disclosed that 13 additional suspects were arrested on Wednesday. He explained that the arrests were carried out in Gumel, Rani and Benin Kudu local government areas respectively. In the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission Ibadan Zonal Office has reportedly invited some officials of the Ogun State Government in connection with an ongoing investigation. The head of media and publicity of the EFCC, Dele Oyewale, would confirm the development in newsmen said some state government officials were invited for a chat, but they have since returned to their state as nobody was detained. And the Katsina State Government has clarified that the 15.4 billion naira the state received as a reimbursement from the World Bank through the Federal Ministry of Budget and Economic Planning for the COVID-19 project. The Commissioner of Budget and Economic Planning, Belo Kagara, who clarified the situation on Thursday in Katsina, said the money was not a relief fund, but an emergency initiative designed to support budgeted programs and interventions at the state level. Now, as part of efforts to cascade down all the different government policies and programs to the populace, President Balatinubu has given this nod to the Presidential Community Engagement Initiative with a mandate to all presidential aides to engage with the citizens directly. In a state Thursday statement, head of media for the Presidential Community Engagement Office, Shen Wajai, said that after the president's recent broadcast, discussions have emerged about the administration's need to engage the public through its appointees on policies and projects. And on business, in line with the President Balatinubu's renewed OPA agenda, the Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Emomoti Niagama, is set to outline the Commission's vision for the Nigerian Capital Markets at the Second Capital Market Committee meeting. A statement by the Commission said the meeting, which is taking place next week, aims to develop strategies for enhancing the capital market's role in driving economic growth and development through initiatives that attract investments, improve market efficiency and safeguard investor interests. On the foreign scene, President Joe Biden has voiced significant concerns about the possibility of a peaceful transition of power if former President Donald Trump loses the upcoming November election. Biden said he wasn't confident about the outcome if Trump loses, stressing that Trump means what he says, including the threat of a bloodbath. And finally on sports, Nigeria's Oduwayo Adekoroye lost 8-10 to to China's Ong Kezin on Thursday in the women's freestyle 57kg event of the 2024 Olympic Games wrestling competition. In the quarter-final match, both wrestlers were even by the end of the bout's first period despite the Nigerian's early lead. But Ong pulled away in the second period, scoring technical points freely as she added into the semi-finals. And that's all from the newsroom for the day. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Victoria Conde. See you next time.